Welcome back guys, so the PvP build for the Necrom Chapter Update 39 on my Stamin Arcanist with a non-CP PvP build with a new set, a craftable one called Shattered Fate. Got released previous patch for the Necrom Chapter, what makes this set so special, 5 set piece bonus, 8k penetration, 10th set piece bonus, almost 670 weapon spell damage and a 12th set piece bonus, 1.4k crit which is around almost 7% crit rate. I think that's the second set ever with a 12 set piece bonus and I'm really impressed especially for non-CP really powerful. I mean look at the stats 8k almost 8k pen almost 700 weapon spell damage and over 6% crit rate. That's huge. Butting cost of a mythic item and a monster set right? Is it worth for no CP? Yes definitely because those are flat damage bonuses and for no proc campaigns like Raven Watch or no CP I see perfectly made. I've combined it with potentates for the back bar for 3% extra damage mitigation. I don't really need the 6% crit rate on the back bar. Not much to say about it. It's a 12 set piece, so there's not really uh, a lot of possibilities to combine with other sets. Armor types I'm on one heavy chest in reinforce for the extra resistance. Then for medium armor for extra crit damage and weapon spell damage. And then two light for the extra pen. One sturdy, one well fitted for impen and one reinforced chest, pretty basic with full prismatic glyphs, full infused on jewelry for the exceeding with two prismatic region glyphs and one weapon and spell damage glyph. Two prismatic are definitely needed, especially for no CP and chat with fate gives no stamina magical region bonuses. On the front bar, a sharpened maw for extra pen with the poison damage enchant, why poison? We have Edisas for the burning status effect. Kinda nonsense with the flame damage enchant. You could technically go with flame damage if you want to increase the uptime on burning. I prefer poison for the poison status effect, which is more or less the same damage than burning. And then back by an ice stuff in defending for extra armor with the escapist poisons. Quick look on the skills. I've decided to use a classic 2H dizzy build with execution on the front bar as our execute, then our weapon spell damage buff, which also gives magic and stamina back and slotted almost 1k penetration with this passive here, splintered secrets. Increase your pen by almost 1k per herald of the tome build is slotted. Dizzy as Sparrow instead of Wrecking Blow. I prefer this one. Sets the enemy off balance means we can a medium attack or heavy attack afterwards to stun the enemy. And it also allows us to use Exploiter if you want to use the setup on a CP campaign for 10% extra flat damage. Then Flail, the stamina morph. I simply cannot sustain the Magicka one. Gives this unique debuff on your target called the Bus Link. 5% more damage. Also heals and deals quite a good amount of damage. It's also undodgeable, a small front AoE. Then Karma Hunter for Major Savagery, 2% crit rate, Minor Berserk, 5% extra flat damage, and Slayer, 3% extra weapon damage, just slotted. Tight King's Gaze as ultimate, follows your target and ticks every 0.5 seconds with 5 meters range. A really strong ultimate, alternative you can go with Dawnbreak of course if you want. Elisas on the back bar for major reach, 6k penetration and the 3 status effects, burning, chilled and concussion. Race against time is snare removable. You can also go with blood mist alternative for extra 300 weapon spell damage with strike from the shadows. But I prefer the extra crit damage and the major expedition to be honest, so up to you. Resume with vigor as self here and for 3 armor, Rune Rod, probably the strongest damage shield in this game. Look at the damage absorption is crazy, especially the first second. Crux Weaver armor, our resistance buff, which also provides minor reach, 3k penetration, so we don't need sword and board or the back bar. We can simply use nice stuff with Elisas, way more effective than Purse armor. And Abyssal C, one of my favorite defense ultimate. It absorbs 60% of all your damage, and then after 10 seconds, deals even a ton of damage, depends on how much damage you get in those 10 seconds. Race Dunmo, face weapon spell damage, flame resistance which is pretty nice especially on a vampire and max magic and stamina. Other choices like Imperial, Nord, or oh it's so fine yeah. Mondos the Serpent, face the stun regen, Vamp stage 3 like I said before mainly for undeath gives us the extra tankiness we need with this passive here, reduce the damage taken by up to 30% based on your missing health. Buff food also a smoke bench, you know it, my favorite buff food. Since the hybrid meta probably best in slot on every 1x build. At few points, 39 points in health. Like this I'm at almost 30k HP in no CP and the rest in stamina with almost 20k stam and 17k magicka. Potions, normal tricep potions and CPs. For CP campaigns, Daddy A, Master Dams, Exploit and Ironclad, and Red CPs, Pain Suffuge, Sustained by Suffering, Celebrity and Slippery, same as usual here. For no CP, doesn't matter of course. 
combination pre-buff itself with Tweeters, Race Against Time, Resistance buff, also Vigor for minor resolve, then start with Edesas, Flail, Dizzy, Medium Attack, into Ultimate, if your target is below 25-30% use Executioner. That's it with another PvP build, thanks for watching, have a nice day, check out my page in the description below and I'll see you guys in the next one, peace.